<laughs> hey, 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 hey. I, I forgot for a second I was taping. All right, so finally, I know I know y'all been asking me, and I've been like really shady about this, and I just been like holding out and not saying anything about these fragrances. And y'all been like, "Who you gonna talk about?" And I'm like, "Yeah, I'm gonna get to it." <sighs> y'all know I'm contrary as a mother. Y'all know that, right? So I let's let's just talk about them. I I wore them enough. So I, I, I've worn them. I've worn them. So, okay. So all these fragrances, y'all yeah, been wanting to hear what I thought about them, wanted me to try them. I did. I don't know why y'all wanted me to try them. I don't know why y'all even want to hear from me. But since y'all asked, let's go for it. In the style of me, I was going to say Lulu and talk about myself in a third person. I said, nah, come on now. That's like calling yourself the Lulu. <laughs> okay, anyway, some people will get that. Um, anyway, man, whew, I promise y'all, I don't know. I'm like working and I'm at a new job and there's more responsibility, you know, and it's not necessarily more it's just, you know, you're trying to, you, you don't know your groove yet because you don't know the space. So you trying to be as like perfect as possible. And now I'm in school and y'all, I'm taking three classes. Not one, not two, but three classes this semester. So I've been kind of tired and I've been wanting to film and everything. And I've got a few more things I need to film. So I said, okay, so do you put on your face and then weigh yourself out trying to put on your face? Or do you go ahead and film and just say, you know what? You giving them, you doing the content, you doing the content. And so I said, let me do the content. Now, the next thing I'm going to tell y'all about was have you ever gotten a new pair of shoes and they like kind of cute and everything and you wear them and they're feeling fine on your feet. And then you take them off and you find out they have done a number on your arch where you can barely walk because your arch is killing you. That's what happened to me yesterday. I could barely walk when I left. You know, as long as I had the shoes on, I was fine. You know, you're fine in the shoes. And then you take them off and you put on like your house shoes. I put them on my, like, you know, slides, my house slides. I could barely walk. I couldn't even walk. I had to take my shoes off. And so, until my, it was like my arches had just been pushed up or something and they were killing me. I, it's, and it was for all night. It wasn't even like for a little bit. It was all night this was going on. Yeah. So if you've, you, have you ever experienced that pain? Foot pain like that? Oh my God. Okay. So let me stop talking. So anyway, anyhow, anywho, let's get started. Y'all, I got to stop forgetting to do this. Okay, before we even get started, put in the comments which ones you have tried and what are your thoughts. And be honest, because we you probably don't, you probably might not have the same, you know, opinion as I do. I don't care. We don't we can agree to disagree or agree to be in agreement. Um, we all grown. So go on and tell me what you think. I ain't gonna cuss you out. I might block you. Just joking. I'm just joking with you. All right, y'all. Go ahead and do that for me. Appreciate you. Now, the way I'm going to do this is because I have five of them. And I'm going to go in order of what people... Because I put a poll up and I want to... And I'm going to... Oops, I'm so sorry. I'm going to do it in the order of what people wanted to hear about. From least to most wanted me to talk about. So let's go at it. Now, the first one, which I was not surprised by, was this one. God is a Woman by Ariana Grande. Now, I have I had a sample of Cloud. That's the only Ariana Grande I've tried. And I know people love Ari's, Ari's stuff, but I really never tried her stuff, really. Cloud was okay. Man, eh, whatever. But I said, okay, you don't call it God is a woman. Let's try it out. 
Now, let's just talk. Ariana, Ariana's people, I need them to really work on their packaging because they do some of the most ugly packaging ever. Now, of course, this has been kind of low-key controversial. Not, you know, because of the name. God is a woman. So, I'm going to speak on that for a second. Hold on. Okay, so let me talk about this. I know this name offends people. You know, God is a woman. Oh my God. But let me just let me just say this right quick. Is that um God is a woman because God there's God in you. So I think that some people we, we get too literal, we think too much like um in reference to our these our of religion from a spiritual point of view. There, we all have God in us. We are, we are beings, spiritual beings, get created by God. So God is a woman, cause God is in us. And I, and I'm sorry, ain't nobody gonna tell me that God ain't in me, cause it was, God is a man. So are we saying God is a man? Okay. So anyway, because that's a, that's what we see in man. That's that's what we we're that's what we we're taught. But anyway, you do know men taught us that. Okay. I'm gonna stop right there before I offend somebody. I'm gonna I'm gonna see how many people uh, <laughs> unsubscribe for me for that bullshit. Okay, so let me just talk about this fragrance. Let's just go here. So I got the little fragrance um, because, quite frankly, her stuff is ugly. But okay, and I really wasn't so into it that I needed to have a whole lot of it. But anyway, so honestly, this and I've said this immediately that it reminds me of Labelle. It is a pear vanilla fragrance. It's got that pear. It's got that juiciness. It's pretty. It's it's got the pear vanilla vibe. But I, you know, for me, no, I would never buy a full bottle of this. However, if you don't have Labelle and you want to get it at a little a less expensive vibe, you want that vibe, that pear vanilla beautifulness, it's got a muskiness and everything dries down to a nice muskiness. It does last pretty long on my skin. Get God as a woman because it is actually kind of similar to LaBelle, which makes sense to me because like Cloud is similar to BR540. Um, I, I thought REM was similar to something else. So, you know, it is what it is. It's a beautiful fragrance. Um, is Do I need it? No, mm -mm. not at all. All right. So now, interestingly enough, the next one from least favorite of these five was this invite only on the poll I did now I honestly think that this is a, this way because you know everybody and a mama the female friend comp has been reviewing this you know everybody grabbed invite only amber 23 okay now to be quite honest I wasn't planning on it I said this before I was not planning on it um but the notes did intrigue me because I did get the vanilla cocoa. I really wasn't a fan of it. I sold it off real quick. So I got, but the notes in here were like just calling my name. I was like, damn it. They got so many of the notes I love right now. Like cherry. It's got like cherry. It's got honey. I love honey. So it was like, you you know, you're going to get it right. And I was like, yeah, no. It was like, you know, you're going to get it. I was like, yeah, no. So I got it. And I didn't plan on getting this big bottle, but I wound up figuring out a way and I got this decent deal on it. So I did not pay full price. So let's talk about her. I'm going to tell it. Um, in the beginning, this is kind of, this was is a little off-putting, could be off-putting for some. Because it's got this... Um, slightly almost medicinal vibe to it it really does slightly medicinal however you know the honey is very strong it kind of almost vibes like honey like um here's what i'm gonna say like a ricola but like a more sweeter version of it so it's kind of got like that cherry ricola vibe to it you know it's got if it was like a honey cherry ricola if you've ever used Ricola, you'll know what I'm talking about. It's kind of vibes like that, but honestly, I like it. Um, but as it dries down, it gets it has this it gets scrumptious. I ain't gonna lie. It it really it's it's pretty. It's beautiful. I love it. Here's no lie. I'm just gonna tell the truth. In some, it kind of 
vibes like it has like the that honey note like b does by ellis brooklyn and a lot of people don't like that's why i said this is not a good blind buy it's not for everybody because it is slightly off-putting um but as it dries down it gets it gets sweeter it um mellows out and then the honey um just becomes a little less harsh um and and it, it gets this um very warm gorgeous um just uh sexy it is very sexy um in a very fall winter way because it has this sweetness to it but the sweetness is um kind of slightly mysterious and strong and very in your face but still quite pretty there's a prettiness to it but it is this i will say i haven't tried them it is definitely unisex i could see a man wearing this and still smelling good on a woman it's going to be this sexy but it's going to be sexy in a very strong powerful way it's not um sexy girly where it's very you know soft and feminine this is powerful sexy it reminds me of like wearing oud after dark or something like that two rows number three by his swatch de parfum because this mean this means if you're wearing this you're going to command the room because you're going to stand out in a very interesting kind of mysterious way so this is not something that i would say everybody everybody's gonna like is it a real gourmand i yeah, it has gourmand gourmandish vibes to it, but what it really is is a beautiful amber, um, kind of on the lines of Grand Soirish. Not anything like it, but vibes like it because Grand Soir has this kind of that I say is a very harsh, very hard beginning, but then it dries down and becomes more beautiful as you wear it. That's the same thing with this. So that is Invite Only by Kaylee. All right, so then these two were a tie, so let's go with this one first. I have a sample of this. This is Fenty. Um, Kia, yum, uh, Yummy411 sent me a sample. She was so kind to send me a sample. And so this is the new Fenty. <clears throat> Gotta be honest, I tried Rebel Floor about a year or two ago because I've been hearing about it and it just didn't do nothing for me. So now this one, um, this of course is a little more, is a lot more expensive than the original, you know, Rihanna's cause this is part of her brand. This is part of her stuff. So, you know, it's got that luxury pricing. Okay. Um, the, the bottle kind of like reminds me of the Lance D bottle, just being honest. Um, very similar looking from the pictures. Um, Okay, so the one thing I the, the one thing I do know is this has this blueberry note. Okay, so let me tell you what I think about it. I think it's a pretty fragrance. I totally understand the fragrance. Based on the fact that everybody has always said that Love Don't Be Shy is Riri's favorite fragrance by Killian, right? That's her sign that was her signature. It makes sense that this fragrance would be this fragrance because it kind of vibes like a Killian, like love don't be shot. Doesn't smell like it, but vibes like it because it's sweet than a mug. And I will say the blueberry is done very well because it's not too blueberry. It's got like a hint of blueberry and the blueberry does last. There's a, it, it, it lasts as it sat on my skin. I could still get that hint of blueberry. So it wasn't like on the top blueberry and then it disappeared absolutely not the blueberry was there and it stayed on my skin a long time and it was very pretty but it was just a little too sweet for me because honestly i just so love don't be shy because it's just a little too sweet for me i find that i'm really not digging that super super duper sweet you know smells like you know it's about to give me a cavity just by wearing it kind of sweet fragrance so this one is kind of like the same thing just a little bit toned down from love don't be shy still kind of, and i'm not even i honestly have not don't remember the notes kind of i don't know if it has marshmallow in it but it definitely has that sweet sweet kind of gooey stickiness to it with the blueberry but 
I like the blueberry note, which gives it a little a little tartness because blueberries can be a little tart. They're like sweet, but just a little tartness. And so that is kind of what the Fenty has. So that's that one. <laughs> Got that out of the way. I'm so proud of myself doing this video, y'all. But what I did is I put on this lipstick that looks like my lips. I like a good nude like this though, okay? Okay, but anyway, next up is Alien Goddess. I've already said how I feel about it, but let me just say if unequivocally, I love this fragrance. Um, it is not alien. It doesn't vibe like alien. What it does is it kind of feels, like I said, the issue with this is that people who love alien and want the flankers, they want some type of feeling. They want to be able to discern a little alien vibe out of this and they're not discerning their alien vibe right because this is lighter this is brighter it's a citrusy sweet beautiful vanilla um jasmine because it's got that bergamot on top so it's got the citrusy vibe so it's like a citrusy jasmine with this sweet vanilla and it dries down and it's very it's very sweet and creamy on the skin I promise you, and I kid you not, and people don't do this a lot, I have gotten comments, compliments every time I've worn it. And I've worn it quite a few times. It's not like I just wore it once or twice. I've been kind of dousing myself in it because I really do like it. Now, the other thing I'll say is that people are complaining about it. But let's say this. If, they had, if Moogler had come out with this fragrance and just called it Goddess, and it wasn't Alien Goddess, then people would have noticed and said, it's just similar to Alien. So you can't please everybody. So what I'm going to say is please yourself. And for me, everybody can complain about it. They can say it's just not this, it's just not that. I think so many people, the people who are complaining, let's just be honest, are the fragheads. And we have enormous collections and we're trying out all these beautiful fragrances and we are always looking for something that stuns us and makes us go, oh my God. So sometimes we can't appreciate just a beautiful, pretty fragrance because it wasn't what I was thinking it should be because we'll have all these ideas and expectations in our head and then when it doesn't meet our expectations, then we mad. So I'm just here to say it. Alien Goddess is gorgeous. And it's a it's a it was a great buy to me. I'm happy with it. I'm good. I got it. Hey, thanks a lot. That's what I got. And I don't care what other what I, what the rest of the folks are saying about it. That's what I think about it. All right, and finally, everybody wants to hear about this. La Entre D Rouge. Now, first off, we love these bottles, but this red is give, serving it up, honey. This red is serving it up. I can't wait to the next one. What's the next one gonna be? Is it gonna be like a deep purple? They could do this all day. They could have La Entre D Sapphire in a deep blue. They could have La Entre D, you know, um, Amethyst, right? They could have La Entre D Jade in a green bottle. They could keep this going. This could, this, I, if they start having flankers like that, I'm just saying, you know, la entre de vert for green. You know what I'm saying? This could go azul, whatever. Okay, let me stop. Ooh, a pretty little la entre de for the summertime called azul with some water notes. Wouldn't that be hot? But I'm, I'm digressing. Let's just talk about this one. Okay, so this is la entre de rouge. Baby, I saw this coming out. I had to get it. I was on the hunt for this. I wanted it because I really do like the little entre -dees. I'm still going back and forth with Melissa, but it's a great fragrance. But let's just talk about this one. Mm. Mm. Okay, so this is a spicy gingered tuberose. This is so delightful. This is sexy as hell. This is just a sexy ass tuberose. It has this mystery about it. It just is very bewitching. O M G. It lasts on my skin. I've wore a few, a couple of times, and it was just there. It was like I ain't going nowhere. I'm here to stay, boo. We are doing this. I said, okay, okay, let's do it then, La Entre D. 
and we did the damn thing together. But yeah, this is a beautiful, stunning tuberose in the La Entre D tradition. You know, Givenchy does this is this is a stellar, you know, remake of a classic, and the the flankers that are coming out spot on. I love them all in different ways. This one. And I love La Entre D Intense. They're very kind of similar, but not. See what I'm saying? So where La Entre D Intense it has this nuttiness from the sesame and everything, this is spicy ginger, baby. This is spicy. And the spicy ginger ain't playing with you. It is not playing with you. It is here. It is not just a little hint of ginger. It is a punch in your face, ginger. So if you ain't ready for that don't get this but on me baby this is going to be date night if i was going on a day this would be late nights with my lover this would be don't even act like you don't know what what's about to happen tonight brother type of fragrance this is stunning just just that i mean if you like La Entrede, if you're a tuberose lover, go on and get it. Just, you know, go on and get it. You, you, it's all, it's all, it's all that they said it is. All right, y'all. That's it. That's all. I have gone through them all, the ones that I have. Now, I know P uh, Parfums de Marley has come out with Oriana, and everybody's grabbing it up and snatching it up and doing it, but I'm not going to do that one. And the only reason why is because I don't know. The, the notes just ain't singing to me. I got to be honest. I like Parfums de Marley, but I don't like it enough to be buying a lot of it. Um, if I'm going to spend that kind of money, I'll buy Amouage. Honestly, I'm more of an Amouage than a P than Parfums de Marley. Just being honest. So if I'm going to put my money in an expensive bottle, it's probably going to be one of the Amouages before the Parfums de Marley. Don't get me wrong. I love Delina and Delina Exclusive, but I just don't feel like I need any more. All right, y'all. That's it. That's all. Let's uh, wrap this one up. Thank you for watching. As always, if you, uh, what was, it, what was I going to say? Oh, be bold, be brave, be fearless, be free. See you later.